Well, well, looky here. What's happening, guys? Elton here. I'm just north of Montreal in Laval here, and here's a beautiful and one of the probably, maybe arguably, the most beautiful Japanese sports car ever made. The, the uh, uh, what is it, 89 to 96, I think it was, Nissan 300ZX. And look at that beautiful pearl color. I think, I wonder if this is maybe a... Uh, a 94 model because my father had a 94 Maxima and it was the same pearl color and I wonder if it's the same thing could be same year maybe oh man I was walking across the street there I was like oh my god 350z you know awesome we're almost in the dead of winter they're calling for a snowstorm this week it's what are we today November 12th ah, she's enjoyed she's driven she's dirty you know right on Beautiful car. Very nice. Very nice. You know, one of the things that was neat about this car, there was a lot of cool things about this car. For one thing, at the time it was made, which was very futuristic, was this whole roof that was almost all glass. Matter of fact, I think these T-tops, I think their T-tops were optional. Like, I think. I'm not positive. I'm not a 350 expert. 350 is the expert. There were little, little bumps over here, a couple, you know? But another thing that was cool about these cars was right here at the belt line. See, right here, we're between the windows and the door. That's known as the belt line. And see, the line just continues here into a separate piece. Right on. Even the taillight design with the backup lights and the turn signal lights was very well done. Very well executed. You know? V6, what is it, a 3.1, 3 liter. Same engine as in the Maxima. Same color interior as my father's Maxima. Exactly the same brown. The same, same thing. Ah, you know, imagine. This is like, this car is just, uh, just on the verge of being on antique. If not, or maybe it is an antique. And, you know, it's just, it wasn't even that long ago and the cars were cooler back then. Look at the cars today. They're fucking boring. Jesus, are they? Not only boring, but I was even talking to a guy yesterday. I never even met the guy until yesterday. He, him and his, his daughter came over to buy some ads for me. And it's like, look, you know, the, the, the interiors are like claustrophobia. You know, the windows are all smaller. The pillars are fucking huge. It's just ridiculous. They're ridiculous cars today. Really. You know, even if it's a luxury car, it's ridiculous. Hey, there's something I never noticed. Look at that. The window is... I don't know. It's kind of weird. There's no thick rubber between the window and the... Yeah. Well, I'm going to say by the overall condition, probably car has about, I don't know, maybe 100,000. 100,000 clicks on it, maybe, give or take. Man, there's some big fucking pipes on that rear, though. Yeah, that thing must be loud, hmm? Yeah, lovely. Great color for these cars. Very typical in these years. Very luxury car kind of color, also, I should say. Not, uh, not at all an economy car type of color, you know? It's cool to be a bit elevated to see... Also, what it looks like. What a gorgeous car. I mean, speak. I keep talking about my dad. I, I, should, I should mention, I shouldn't even forget to mention that my father, that was his favorite car. It was the 350Z. So it's no surprise that he owned a Maxima, you know? Anyway, well, that's it, guys. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.